Timo Scheider will be starting from pole position for the third round of the 2009 DTM season at the Norrisring. With the weather conditions changing all the time, at the 2.3 km street circuit, the drivers delivered a thrilling qualifying with many position changes. The first surprises emerged in the second heat, after which Martin Tomczyk was out. Apparently, he seems to continue his run of bad luck. This grid position is already familiar to me, but of course this isn't what I had expected. Especially not after the good first session, when it was wet. In the rain, even I am quick at the Norrisring. Hockenheim winner Tom Christensen also had to call it a day after session two. I was third and then dropped back to ninth place on the final lap. That is the way it goes when a track becomes faster. Too bad. Paul Di Resta also didn't make it beyond the second session and a park for me violation saw him end up in 15th place after a five position penalty. The action really started in the third heat. The regulations say that drivers are only allowed to do a maximum of eight laps in the heat, but Engel, Green and Schumacher did ten. Ralf Schumacher, who was in his best qualifying to date by far, was second fastest after eight laps and thus hoped for a result in the top four. There is a maximum number of laps that one may not exceed. With this number I was in the top four, but then I scrubbed in new tires. Now we have to see what happens. The stewards of the meeting relegated Schumacher according to his time in the second session to eighth place. Maro Engel and Jamie Green were relegated to P6 and 7 respectively in their year-old Mercedes-Benz cars. Only Catherine Legg, who was absolutely at the limit with her year-old Audi, managed a valid time in the third session and starts from a career-best fifth place. The first four places were set in the fourth heat. Here the two Mercedes-Benz drivers Gary Paffett and last year's pole sitter Bruno Spengler were beaten by the two Audis of Ekström and Scheider. It was great fun, but it was the most difficult qualifying of my career. Every lap was different, every corner was different on every lap. I never had something like this in a qualifying. In spite of a cold, the leader in the point standings, Timo Scheider, will be starting from pole position for the seventh time in his DTM career. The doctors have been trying to cure my headache and my swollen tonsils until just before qualifying. Eating is still difficult for me and last night I couldn't get any sleep until four in the morning. But apparently it wasn't that bad, because otherwise it wouldn't have worked out today. Here the starting grid positions for the third round of the 2009 DTM at the Norrisring. Two Audis in the front row. Black in fifth is the best placed driver in a year old car. Markus Winkelhock's car was damaged by a loose manhole cover in practice. Whether the Audi will be ready in time remains uncertain. Based on the qualifying result, everything looks set for a thrilling race on Sunday.